After watching several uh, videos on YouTube of case knife collections, I've decided to make my own and show off a few of my own knives. It's a modest collection. It's uh, not nearly as fancy as what a lot of you guys have out there, but it's mine. I, I don't. Uh, I'm not a collector who collects all of one handle material or all of one pattern of a knife. I basically I, I see one I like, I buy it, and I hang on to it. Uh, so let's take a look at them. Okay, we'll start with my favorite here. This is a uh, clasp. Uh, that handle material is a dark molasses bone. I think that's a good looking handle on that knife. And actually, that's my favorite pattern right now in a case knife. When I first got it, I, I just I just fell in love with it. Uh, it's just a, a great knife. That it's really big. I think that thing's really close to about 11 inches when it's when it's open uh, and really sharp. It, at, uh, right out of the box, that knife will shave. It's a it's a good good knife. I would carry that, except uh, I just don't want to mess it up. I just that'd be it. It's it's a thin knife. It'd be good like a back pocket knife or something. It'd be way too big to stick in your front pocket. These next three are all knives that I carry. They're all uh, Stockman pattern. This is a medium humpback stockman uh harvest orange pocket worn handle uh it's a good knife and you, you can probably tell i've carried that and sharpened it it's scraped up a little bit it's got those stainless steel blades on it that, that's a good little knife to carry uh this is a another medium stockman it's, it's not a humpback it's got the, the stag handle and the cv blade uh, these stag ones they they burn the case logo into the handle. I think you can see that there. And these CV blades, they're really good uh, blades. That you get them really sharp. They hold a good edge. They they tarnish, uh, which that doesn't bother me. Things gonna, you know, if I carry it, I don't care what it looks like. Uh, it holds a good edge. It's, it's a good knife to use. I carried that knife for quite a while. And that, uh, that stag handle is just a good looking handle, I think. The one that I currently carry is this uh, goldenrod bone uh, five blade sow belly it's basically a uh, sow belly stockman but it's got two extra blades it's got a let me pick it up here let's see it's got got your pin blade here your clip here sheep foot and this next blade here is a spade blade and then it's got a short clip blade on there like I said, currently that's what I'm carrying. I think that's a good looking handle material there too. That's golden rod bone. Next, this is uh, an amber bone canoe. Uh, it's got a, the CV blades. You can see you know, they, they start off good and shiny. I've never carried this knife. But uh, if you handle that blade or, or carry that knife, it'll start looking like this one. Uh, it doesn't affect the performance. It just affects what they look like. You can see, like I said, this pattern's called a canoe. They've got a, a canoe etched on the handle there. I think you can see that. They've got a little Indian row in that canoe. Uh, that, that's a nice knife. That amber bone makes a good looking handle. Next, uh, this is a crimson bone rust lock. And it's just a little single blade lock back uh, knife. Uh, this is a limited edition uh, version of that knife. <clears throat> That'd be a if if you like carrying a uh, single blade lock back. That'd be a, a good one right there. It's got the little lever for you know easy opening. You can open that thing one handed, and uh, it's just a good little lock back knife. And that that crimson bone handle I think is really nice. Here's another knife from the pocket worn collection and it's another harvest orange pocket worn it's a muskrat uh, muskrat as you can see is just a two bladed knife it's got uh, two clip blades on it it's uh, about the same size as a medium stockman uh, that's just a, a good looking little knife right there I've never carried it but uh, it wouldn't be a bad knife to carry Here's another knife with the uh, amber bone handles, and it's a hobo with a spoon. And uh, I have actually carried this knife. I kept this knife in my rucksack when I was in the army. 
So when I was in the field, uh, I'd have something to eat with besides those plastic spoons that come in the MREs. If you're ever in the Army, you know what I'm talking about. It was a pretty handy little knife to keep in my ruck. As you can see, this knife is modular, so it, it comes apart. The inside of the handles on the spoon and the fork have these keyhole cutouts. And uh, the knife here goes in the center, and it's got these studs on, on either side that lock into the keyholes on the spoon and the uh, fork. And when you close the spoon and the fork, it, it latches down on those studs and, and uh, locks that knife together real tight. It's, it's a good, tight-fitting uh, knife when it's all together. Red bone handle, medium congress. Uh, I don't have much to say about that knife. It's just it's a quality case product. Not my favorite pattern. Thought I'd like it. Uh, after I got it, I, I realized that's not the pattern for me. Sorry if you're a congress fan. That congress pattern is uh, my very least favorite. Here we have a large folding hunter. Uh, the folding hunter has it's a two blade knife it's got a skinner blade and a large clip blade on there that's uh that knife has a stem and a wood handle which uh i think is really pretty handle that, that that wood just has a nice color and uh nice grain to it good looking knife if you ask me this is uh just a big lockback knife this is mako pattern uh I call this one hammerhead you can see there on the on the blade they have that hammerhead shark etched into it uh, it's an inexpensive knife you can pick this knife up at about any hardware store I think it's got synthetic handles uh, brass bolsters and, uh, it's 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 a nice knife and it's it's a good case knife but like I said it's an, an inexpensive one no no frills there here we have a trapper with natural bone handle this is a, uh, a commemorative uh, knife. A, a lot of case knives, that, that a lot of the commemorative knives are in this trapper pattern. Uh, this one here is a uh, Operation Neptune's Spear commemorative. Good job SEAL Team 6. Uh, as you can see there on the blade, it, it, justice is served. Y'all got him. Good job. This is a, uh, it's a numbered knife. It's got a, got a serial number. It's in this uh, display box. That's that's the inside of the lid on the display. It says we did not forget 9/11. God bless America. I think they did a really good job putting this box together in this uh, this this knife. This this whole set here. Uh, there's the outside of the box. Here's a red bone trapper, another commemorative. This one uh, commemorates the Confederate States of America. It's another numbered knife. It's a serialized knife. Uh, it's in a box like the other one was. A nice display box. In the lid there you can see old Jefferson Davis and Robert E. Lee. Uh, it's their Civil War uh, case of Civil War series. It's one of the knives in it or the War of Northern Aggression as I like to call it. Here's another red bone uh, trapper. This one's a, a, a buffalo nickel commemorative uh, or Indian head nickel as Case calls it uh, in this collection. You can see they've got the images of the Indian head nickel etched into the blade there and uh, this, uh, this includes an Indian head nickel. This is a 1936 Indian head or, or buffalo. This knife is is a numbered knife. You can see here on the bolster it's, it's, it's numbered. It comes in its own display case. That's the inside of the lid. I think that red bone handle's a, a good looking handle. Here's an amber bone trapper. It's another commemorative uh, coin knife. It's it's another it's numbered, it's serialized too. Uh, this is the two thousand four state quarter knife. As you can see the, the state quarters are in the lid there. They're gold plated. I bought that knife just to commemorate the year my daughter was born. Uh, that's a, a good way, I think, to uh, remember birthdays or anniversaries and stuff like that. So you can buy, buy a little set like this. Again, that's an amber bone handle. It's one of my favorite handle materials. Here's another red bone 
uh, trapper. Uh, this one has the stars and stripes shield you can see right here. It's a uh, George Washington presidential dollar commemorative uh, case is doing a, a series of knives that commemorates the presidential dollars, the, the new coins they're coming out with all the old presidents on it. This comes in a good looking uh, walnut case. Here's the lid for that case. I think they did a really good job on this. Uh, good looking box that comes in. The knife's good looking and everything. Okay, I know there's probably a terrible glare on this shadow box. Uh, all these knives in here are my, my patriotic themed knives. Most of them are trappers. I think there's three of them in there that are not trappers. Uh, this is a natural bone trapper right here. You can see it says We the People on there. This is a World War II commemorative trapper, natural bone. It's from the Image series. Here's a, a Vietnam commemorative natural bone image series. Another World War II commemorative. And here's another natural bone. It says Liberty and Justice on it. Uh, right here is a red bone muskrat and it's a 9-11 commemorative you can see on the blade there I think you can see that maybe there's not too much of glare it says never forget 9-11 and it's got the center bolster etched with uh, or engraved with USA on there that's a cool knife I think here's another numbered uh, uh, trapper US Army commemorative my sister bought that knife for me. That was the first case knife I ever got, and it's the one that got me into collecting knives, I think. Uh, it just, uh, it, she thought it was a cool knife. I was in the Army, she bought it for me, and uh, it, it, it's, uh, it came in a nice display case like the other ones did, but I took it out of that case to put it in with these knives in this shadow box. Uh, this is an Eisenhower. I know there's a glare. This Eisenhower is a, uh, uh, another one of the harvest orange pocket worn and you can maybe you can see right there on the blade is etched in there uh, Dwight Eisenhower's uh, signature here's a molasses bone copper lock it's a United States of America war veterans commemorative another good looking knife and because I am a master mason uh, I have picked up these case masonic commemorative knives uh, this is a toothpick it's a mother of pearl handle I think you can see through the glare right there on that bolster there's the square encompasses uh, engraved in that bolster there's a, a blue uh, trapper and you can see right here got your square encompasses on here and this is a numbered a numbered knife uh, here's a, a white natural bone or a natural bone trapper. It's a Masonic edition. And that little lock back there, it's got the square encompasses on the on that bolster there. Uh, I like those, like I said, simply because I'm a Mason. And uh, those are just really cool knives. And last but not least, uh, this little lock back knife here is a case commemorative 75th anniversary of auto automation. This knife was given to me uh, by a friend of mine. Uh, I don't know where he got it, but uh, he just gave it to me because he knew I, I collected case knives. And to thank him, uh, I want to mention his website. He's uh, at www.doublehelixfarms.com. And uh, you can go there for uh, garden seeds. He's a, he's a supplier of garden seeds, especially tomatoes. You can get uh, just about any variety of tomato probably in the world from him. He grows all his, all his own tomatoes, he harvests his own seeds, he packs them, does all that. And uh, he's got some videos out there, some good gardening tips. You can probably find him on YouTube. Matter of fact, I know you can find him on YouTube. Visit that website, www.doublehelixfarms.com. And uh, any comments or questions about this knife collection are, are welcome. Even if you don't like it, let me know. Bye.